Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another speed build. So for today's speed build, we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually going to be doing Simlissi's 100k build challenge. So this is the build challenge that she created to celebrate her reaching 100,000 subscribers. So that is an absolutely huge milestone and if you guys don't know who Simlissi is, she's another amazing Simmer YouTuber. And I've actually been watching her channel since before she had a one before she had a hundred subscribers. So I've been watching her for a super long time. So yeah, for her to have reached a hundred thousand was and still is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy for her. But basically she came up with this bold challenge where she basically gave us the foundation of the house. And we then had to go in and build a house that was, you know, build a house around the foundation. Or not around it, but on it. But you weren't allowed to change any of the foundation that she has put down. So you had to keep the shape of the foundation exactly the same. You could do whatever you wanted on the foundation, but yeah, you had to keep the shape of the foundation exactly the same. You couldn't add foundation like to it you couldn't drag walls off of it so yeah you couldn't extend it or anything like that whatsoever and then you also had to work around some things that she already placed in the bolt so she put down a wall and you had to work or you know work with that wall she also put down a like little console table as well as a toilet so you couldn't move any of those items, you couldn't move the wall, you could change like the height of the walls. So I did, I did, I do have like the house on like medium wall heights. But yeah, so basically the console table, you couldn't swap, you can't swap it out for anything for like another table. You can change the color of it, but you can't change the placement or the table that it is. As same thing with the toilet, you can't change where it is, whatever. So you have to work around that as well. So doing the layout for this house was kind of tricky, I'm not going to lie to you, since the foundation itself is a very weird shape. It's not the e it wasn't the easiest shape to work with and it took me forever to figure it out. So there's a lot cut out of this video. I did have to cut a lot of me like fiddling around with stuff like you guys just saw. I cut out me finishing the whole exterior since it took me ages and I wanted to do a modern build since I haven't done one in a while and I figured that the interesting floor like the interesting like layout of the build and like the shape of the foundation could work really well for a modern home so yeah I completely skipped over me creating this little driveway and this back area this little building we're doing right now it is actually a garage, so the bottom floor is a garage, and then the second floor of that building I turned into like a little family kind of room with just some a family slash game room, I guess, with a TV and game console and a foosball table. You know, just a nice little relaxing like family room, I guess. But yeah, we've moved on to the inside of the house, and as you guys can see. I did cut out me doing the layout, but I normally do that, but since the build, since like the build footage that I had was like almost 4 hours long, I had to cut out, as I said, quite a bit more than I normally would, so I did have to cut out me doing like the layout and choosing the wallpapers and flooring, I also had to cut out some of the landscaping, but since it is a modern home, the landscaping isn't all that intricate, it's fairly like basic. Just a bunch of like green plants and a few like aloe vera and a few cacti, but mainly like aloe vera and succulent plants and then just a bunch of green. I didn't go overboard with landscaping or anything. And I also had to cut out me doing the bathrooms. So this is a four, a four bedroom and four and a half bathroom house. But I do show you guys the master bathroom in the video tour at the end of the build. But I don't show you like any of the other ones since the other like three and a half bathrooms are basically exactly the same. They have the same stuff in them. They're not that interesting. They're very, I don't know, like neutral, I guess. So yeah, I didn't show you guys that. But if you want to see it, you know, in more detail 
obviously you can download it from the gallery it is up on the gallery right now it has been on there for like maybe two weeks by now or something like that and yeah i will include the gallery like download link in the description for you guys and you can also just go onto the gallery and search for my gallery id which is chrissy yt or you can search for hashtag chrissy yt or hashtag chrissy york that you can find it under all of those if you want to download it I didn't use any custom content at all since we weren't allowed to for this build challenge but I did use all of the packs or at least I didn't pay attention to the packs that I, were that I was using so it's not pack restricted or anything like that and it's also obviously not like a budget home or anything like that but yeah it is up on the gallery if you want to have a closer look at it and obviously in the video tour I will show you guys like apart from like the bathrooms I show you guys every other room in the house in the video tour and I just I did also have to cut out like the upstairs in the upstairs there's a little study area it's just like a four by three like square room study that's right off of the hallway and it leads into onto the hallway with like an archway and everything like that since it was so small I decided to cut that part of the video out since I do show you it in the video tour and it's nothing interesting and yeah I did have to as I said cut out a bit more than I normally would have liked to cut out of videos as you guys probably know by now I don't really like cutting stuff out of my videos apart from like the layout and probably like the bathrooms or something like that but yeah once in a while I will have to cut out some other rooms and random bits of the build if I feel like it's way too long and it's going to be just really boring since again since this was a modern house I was a little bit out of my comfort zone it's not my regular you know style of decorating I did try and decorate a little bit more simplistically with this I say that as I'm like adding a bunch of clutter to shelves and stuff but yeah I did try and make it a little bit less cluttered and a little bit more almost like elegant looking I guess than I normally decorate but I really like the way this house turned out it's very almost yeah it's very neutral basically since I did want the outside to be you know lots of to have lots of browns and creamy colors so I wanted to bring that into the house as well and I built this house for two parents, two teenagers and a child. So the bedrooms are all kind of grown up, you know. There's no like toddler furniture or the, and they, if, if, there isn't even, wow I really can't speak tonight. There really, is, really isn't all that much like many like toys or stuff around for the, even just the child. When we get to the child's bedroom, you guys will note it, it, notice it is the smallest bedroom in the house and there isn't all that many like toys lying around or anything like that since I figured this family would, would be fairly, I don't know, I guess like neat and tidy. They wouldn't usually have stuff laying around and you know just clutter all, all over the place. So yeah, I figured the child that lives here would probably be more of like a preteen, I guess, like almost a teenager so not quite you know the age where they would still be playing with all that many toys so yeah I hope that makes sense but basically this bedroom downstairs this is the only bedroom that's actually downstairs the other three are upstairs now this isn't the master bedroom I figured that would be for one of the teenagers and then we have another teenager's bedroom and the child's bedroom upstairs but the teenager's, be teenager's bedroom upstairs only has a single bed since I figured that teenager would be the younger of the two of them and then obviously the master bedroom with like their ensuite and everything is upstairs as well. But yeah I hope you guys like how this build turned out. I really really like how it's coming along and I had a lot of fun building this even though it took me like as I said like four hours so yeah, that's, I think that's the longest that I have spent on a build in quite a while. I can't remember the last time I spent that long on a build. But, oh, apparently I do show you guys this study. I thought I cut this part out. I could have sworn I cut this part out of the footage, but apparently not. Or maybe I just cut out me, like, further decorating it or something. Wow, I must be getting my builds really mixed up right now.
I probably am getting them very confused in my head. I've been building a lot, a lot recently. Like I have, at the moment that I'm recording this, I have I think like three or four other builds that are done. That I have footage for. Yeah, like one, two, three. Yeah, I think three builds that are done. That I have like four actually technically but basically I have like three or four builds that are done so apparently I'm getting them mixed up in my head since I usually edit all of them at one time I sit down and I edit all of the footage that I have for all of the different builds and videos and stuff so yeah I just got that really really confused and I could have sworn I cut it out but apparently not I must be si must be thinking of another build, but yeah, there you guys saw the little study that I was talking about. It's not like all that big or grand or anything. I figured it would just be a place for maybe one of the parents, maybe one of the parents are a freelancer or something like that and they work from home, so that could be their study. But yeah, we've moved on to the master bedroom and I really, really love the way this master bedroom turned out. I love all of the light that flows into it from like that bay window area with the huge glass windows and the huge like three tile wide door with the glass windows that leads onto the balcony. I absolutely love the way that room turned out and the way the light hits it and everything and the master bathroom I have to say is one of my favorite bathrooms that I've done in a, quite a while. You guys could see it right there in like the corner of the screen but yeah, I just, I really like the way this house turned out. And it's very, like, bright, I guess, since I did use a lot of beiges and whites. I used a lot of white in this build with this, like, dark wood throughout the rest, throughout the whole house. So, yeah, I just really like the way it turned out. I know I keep saying that, but, yeah, I just do. So, <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind me saying that so much, but, whatever. But, yeah, as you guys might have noticed... Or not noticed, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but I've been a little bit obsessed with tiny homes recently. And I completely blame Miss Griffey for this. If you guys don't know who Miss Griffey is, or as I refer to her, Tonya. So if you guys don't know who she is, I will leave her channel linked in the description below as well. And she is one of my oldest YouTube friends, so... Not like oldest in like age, but like I think I've been watching her channel has been one of the well yeah, her channel was one of the first ones that I started watching when I really got into YouTube and yeah, we talk a lot and everything, but she is absolutely amazing and she's recently okay, not recently, like the last I don't know, maybe like from the start of the year. She's been really getting into tiny homes over on her channel and she's been posting a lot of them. And I have been obsessed with them recently. I mean, I've watched all of them, like, from the beginning. But she, I don't know, just recently I've been really obsessed with them. And I've been wanting to try them out. To try and build them myself since we've talked about this. And I've told her that I suck at doing tiny homes. I've never really tried them. Since I always suck at building, like, smaller spaces. I really suck at figuring out where to put stuff. If I don't have like a huge amount of room to work with so as you guys might have noticed or if you didn't I will leave a link to the video on the screen for you guys but yet not yesterday Tuesday I'm getting my days confused Tuesday I uploaded a bohemian tiny home that I actually built and I'm so proud of how that house turned out like I don't know it's not it's probably not tiny by a lot of people's standards but it's only like an 8x3 square house, so for me that's tiny, and I actually managed to make it work. And I actually built another one as well that you guys will see on Saturday, that will be, will be up on the channel on Saturday. So yeah, Saturday's video will be another tiny home, and yeah, I hope you guys don't mind that. That I'm posting like a few shorter videos this week. Yesterday, obviously, you will have seen the CC haul for April that will have gone up. So, yeah, that was like over 30 minutes long or something. So, that was quite a long video, but those usually are anyway. But, yeah, I hope you guys are liking how this build turned out. I think I'm going to leave this off right here, you guys. I know we have about four or five minutes more left of the video. Probably like four minutes or something. 
but I have another voiceover to record tonight and I'm super super tired so yeah I think I'm going to just leave it off right here I hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out if you did give the video a like and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and sticking around and remember to hit the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video also remember to stick around to the end of the video if you want to see the video tour to see all of the rooms that I couldn't show you guys or all of the little details that I had to cut out I show you all of that in the video tour like I said I also have a patreon page if you guys if you guys didn't know by now I mention it quite often but yeah I do have a patreon page that you can join the link is always in my video descriptions but over on my patreon you can get early access to some of my videos like this one for example will have gone up on patreon a whole day before it went it got, went up on YouTube so yeah you can get early access to my videos on there you can also get access to exclusive patron only videos as well as when you know when I start doing them and I am planning on doing it but I'm going to start doing some patron only live streams as well and there's a bunch of other like perks and rewards that you guys can get over there as well for like the different tiers so if you w if that is something that sounds interesting to you or like just if you're just curious about it the link is in the description if you want to check it out but yeah i hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing amazing day and i will talk to you in my next video bye guys
We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Back all the way back to them days, running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. No mistake ever kept me late. Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. Daydream.